all according to plan. What's that? I beg you, I haven't seen my sisters for several days. I'm afraid they may be in trouble. This whole land is nothing but trouble. You want me to risk my life and the lives of my people to do your dirty work? Go ahead, ask Armag to give the order. Oh, but Armag stayed back in Bavaria, which means I am the one making the decisions here. But what about my sisters? Something terrible could happen to them. You sisters insisted on this expedition. So it's your price to pay. With your blood, not ours. 
Something terrible could happen, you say? It is too late for that. We already lost good men on this pointless journey to nowhere. Whatever Armag needs, it's not here, and it wasn't here from the start. But you didn't come here for him, did you? You came for your own reasons. You want some magic toy that once belonged to the ancient Cyclops. Well, I'm not leading my men to their deaths, for now. To God. This conversation is over. You want help? Why not ask our guests to help you? If you can afford their rates, that is. As for me, my single remaining goal is to get my people home alive. And well, and as soon as possible. How do you think? We keep an eye on everything that happens in the region. It's smart to know our potential employers and our potential enemies. Ah. Wish I knew who these witches are and where they came from. Our chief, the great Armar, is blessing. Trusts them as if they were holy oracles. He sent us with them to these dead hills, and none but the sisters and the chieftains know why. Who am I to confront the chieftain? So now we wander these lands, chasing the unknown. Varnold, huh? Isn't that the village Mayor Varn got from the Restovic Sword Lords? I know, Varn. He's not the best fighter, but not the worst. As for what happened there, I wouldn't know. But I'm afraid we can't. At least not yet. I'd be happy to take a new job, but our chieftain's orders were strict. Search the location and come back with a report. But if you could help us here, Say, by finding whatever these witch sisters are looking for. Or maybe just making them disappear forever. Mark my word, Baron. The Tiger Lords never forget those who help them. None of your business, actually. But just to reassure you, we weren't Sneaking into your lands without permission, I'll answer. It was magic. The sisters opened some strange... And we used it to get here from Numeria. Gorum witnessed my words. I'm no coward, but I'd rather march for a month through all the river kingdoms than reach that damned tunnel again. Yes. Strange. Wrong. Just like those witches themselves. I wish I knew. The sisters are looking for something. They won't tell anyone what it is. I guess it's some antique that used to belong to the Cyclops. Some magic trinket or something. As for me, the only thing I'm looking for is a good reason to quit this nonsense and return to Numeria as soon as possible. Is this how you serve your leech? Don't confuse our chieftains and your king's knight. It's the chieftain who swears an oath to the tribe, not the other way around. Please. I was one of the tribe's elders when he was in his first teeth. If we did, do you think we'd still be here now? The only thing to be found in these hills is one's own death. A group of my men entered a cave that turned out to be a spirit of men. They barely survived the encounter. Also, we found the ruins of some old tower, ancient as the world itself, and useless as this expedition. There is nothing to be found here, except, like I said, for one's own death. 
Let us stay away. Why not? I don't promise I'll answer, though. I'm Dugath, son of Gordir, and Harith Three Fingers from the Tiger Lord's tribe. My entire life, I've served Gorum, first on the battlefield, sword in my hand, and later with prayer as well. I've fought in battles all across the River Kingdoms, in Yoveria, Gorum used to live. My price is high, my hand is steady, and my sword is deadly. Our lord and I am doesn't like empty talk. He's the god of those who act instead of chatter. His palm blesses every sword ever crafted, and wherever at least two men meet in battle, he is there with them. Even orcs worship the god of battle. And not only that, they imagine he's an orc, too. Mm, it's all nonsense, of course, but there may be a grain of truth to it. For anyone can aspire to be like him. A human, a orc, and even an elf. Anyone who grips his iron to make his enemy bleed. <laughs> Well said, old man. Truly well said. Blood for Gorum! There are many tribes in Omeria. Each does its best to survive. The black horses sell adamantine. The blood pikes rob the caravans. The white scars lick the boots of the Technic League. As for us, the Tiger Lords, we are mercenaries, and the best ones in this part of Avistan. Remember this, Baron. If you keep your throne long enough, we'll meet again, sooner or later, fighting side by side. Or otherwise, who knows? And some Yes, there's plenty of those too. And their numbers will never win so long as the Technic League runs the country. He's a strong fighter, brave one. He says he's Armad, an incarnation of a hero from the old times. Just don't ask if I believe it. Armag is smart. He knows how to do business. If he'd only pay less attention to what those witches whisper, he'd be a perfect chieftain. Aeons ago, stars rained down on Omeria. Pieces of metal, both dead and living ones, fell from the sky. Since then, metal monsters roam those lands, and the grounds hold a wealth of adamantine, among other valuable things. Weaklings don't survive. As for us, Numerian Kelets, we grew up on that land. We drank its poisoned waters and breathed its toxic air. Metals from the depths fused our bones and muscles. No one can beat us if there were anyone capable of bringing us down. It would be ourselves. There it is, Numerian humor. For those who find Gallo's humor too cheerful. Not that much. Long ago, these lands were part of their empire. They were a great people back then. Used unbelievable magic and possessed treasures beyond count. Ages passed, and their empire crumbled into dust. Cyclops became wild and forgot all about what they once used to be. But the ruins, yes, the ruins remember everything. You're welcome. You have so many stars. You must have seen so much. Ah, more than a few, yes. <laughs> I just gave away my oldest granddaughter to be married. 
She's a little younger than you. Mm? So you have vast experience, and not just on the battlefield? Hell no. All the beds in my tent are occupied. Oh, listen, girl. I'm too old to fall for such tricks. If you want to treat your mother, good luck, but you'll have to find someone younger than me. <laughs> Fine! Go then! <laughs> Tease you? It was nothing like that. I'm just... Well, it doesn't matter. Forget it. <laughs> 